good afternoon to all of you at home and to Kwaku Afari, Samo Baseki and Anton Tolui. And hello to those of you watching us on the Sky Sports new, yeah, YouTube channel. Let's start with Liverpool. Jamie Carragher wants to see his old team bring in another player in this window, a central midfielder. He actually believes that Liverpool could fail to make the top four if they don't bring one in in the next few weeks. OK, Sam, why is it so important that Liverpool freshen up that area? It's interesting because when you look at their actual area, you can see that it's quite congested. You know, they've got Henderson, Fabinho, Thiago, Keita, Milner, Oxley, Chamberlain, Elliot, Carvalho, uh, Curtis Jones, and then Mello, who was also joined on loan. But when you look at the, those those names, you can only mention three or four maybe that have performed consistently. You know, Thiago was the only player, the only midfielder that they've signed in the last four and a half years. He was a great signing when he did join, but then he hasn't been able to perform as consistent as Liverpool fans and Klopp would want him to as well. You look at the the younger players in Carvalho and Elliot, they're quality players, but they're normally used further forward. They can, you know, um, go out onto the left, go out onto the right as well. And it's it's one of those situations that they find where they've got players there but not, not necessarily the profiles that they'll want you know, to challenge for trophies across all the board. Yeah, I completely agree. I think it's the disparity in age and the disparity in function of the Liverpool midfield and it's meshing the two at the moment that just seems to be completely off, which is a complete, completely see why Jamie Carragher is suggesting they need more of an industrious type in that midfield to, to, you know, to who can go with a deep-lying player like, you know, like Fabinho and then like Thiago, but also offer a little bit of youth, a little bit of legs, and then potentially they need more experience because they've also got really younger players, more technical players like... I feel like I'm almost contradicting myself you know, because <laughs> there are so many sort of things that don't seem to mesh with that midfield, play, uh, that midfield group. You've listed a long list of players, but what is Liverpool's best midfield to get them into that top four? And then what is Liverpool's best midfield for the next few years? I think it's a, it's a difficult question Liverpool will have to answer, not just in this window for the short term, but also over the next couple of years. Yeah. Well, we asked on Twitter earlier on this morning, said Liverpool midfield needs complete revamp. Is Carragher right? Because they were the former Liverpool defenders' words. And we've got a few uh, responses to that question that we asked on Twitter. We've got one here from Phil who says, yes, I'd agree with Cara. Liverpool do need a couple of energetic box-to-box -box midfielders. We've gone down the technical route with Thiago, Elliot and Carvalho. But to play Klopp's way, we need energy and pace. Neither Genie nor Hendo were best technical players, but look at what we won with them. And the answer to that was plenty. Got another one from Lee who says, Liverpool midfield needs revamping, but who can, who can they seriously get without paying ridiculous money? Everyone knows we need midfielders, so the prices go up. An add-on to top four. And uh, someone here as well says, one main thing missing from Liverpool's midfield is a press merchant. Someone who will chase everything down for 90 minutes, week in, week out. We didn't replace, replace Genie Wijnaldum. And it shows a lot of people saying that about Genie Wijnaldum. Mm. Actually, there's one more here as well from Ollie, who says Liverpool need to sign Jude Bellingham <laughs> to have any chance <laughs> of top four. Tough, I'm right? sure they would like to. Meanwhile, though, Anton, a surprise target has emerged, but not for January. Yeah, it's an interesting one, this, isn't it? Because Liverpool are interested in Mateus Nunes. Now, he's a player that came to Wolves only in the summer. Wolves' record club signing, £38 million, rising to £42 million. He's played fewer than a 1,000 minutes of Premier League football for Wolves. Wolves, who were in the relegation places. And yet, at the same time, Liverpool are interested. Now, as you said, Tom, this deal is more likely to be pursued if they are going to in the summer. Not now, but obviously this is an interesting topic considering Liverpool, as we know, their weakness is their midfield. So Nunes is an interesting one. You speak to, speak to Wolves fans, they obviously know he's a player of real quality. He's a player that likes to bring the ball forward, but have we seen the best out of him this season? Probably not, as he made the impact that Wolves fans were hoping him to. Probably not, but is that his fault considering Wolves have been struggling? I've been speaking to people at Wolves this morning and they were saying, look, yeah, we do not want anyone to come in from, we're in a relegation fight, come armed with not just a checkbook but wheelbarrows full of cash because there's absolutely no way Wolves were selling without getting a heck of a lot more than they paid for him. 
So, yeah, I, it, it's a deal that would be really complicated if it was going to get done now. So, like you said, Tom, more likely to see interest in the summer. Right, right now on the Sky Sports News YouTube page, actually, uh, YouTube channel, sorry, the, they've done a, a flash poll there saying, is Carragher right? Does Liverpool's midfield need revamping? Loads and loads of votes coming in. Keep those in. We'll see what they're doing in a couple of minutes' time. But, Quaker, with Matias Nunes, why is he so highly rated? He's a player, so he's an easy player to fall in love with. If you look at his frame, six, six foot tall, he can receive the ball in tight spaces. The progression is great. He can see a pass as well. Um, he can play in number six. He can also play in number eight and even more advanced than that. He gives you a lot. And like you said, Anton, he maybe hasn't delivered to the standards this season for Wolves. He's only registered one assist uh, this season um, in 14 games played. If you look at Wolves, they're the lowest scorers in the division, only scoring 10 Premier League goals. That's probably where some of the frustration stems from, from Wolves fans in terms of his performance. But he looks like a player to me that is playing within himself. And if you surround him with better players, you might see the best from him. I do think he's a very, very good player. You can see the, the touch. And I think that's what separates a lot of these players, the first touch and the ability to see the pitch. He just hasn't delivered that consistently for Wolves this season. But I'm not surprised that Lopetegui and Wolves would want to keep hold of him or if they do sell him, want a hefty fee because he did only just come in in the summer for a record signing. So, yeah, I, I really, really like his profile player. But you're right, Anton, he probably needs to deliver more for Wolves this season. Also, interestingly, the way that Liverpool and Wolves have previously done business, and obviously you got Diego Jota when they signed... Yeah, a couple of years ago, and that was a fee spread over a few years. Now, that was because, obviously, Wolves were aiming, were being in Europe and aiming to get back into Europe, so we're under certain sort of European FFP regulations. Would Wolves want to accept a deal, a big deal, oh, split over five years, probably? This? Probably not. They're in a relegation fight. They want that money up front, which would make a deal even more complicated. So I just can't see this one happening in January unless a lot of money's put on the table. Loads of people are commenting, those who are watching on YouTube, actually, and someone's just put in capitals, Enzo Fernandez. <laughs> uh, Garbo <laughs> says, what about, money. <laughs> Garbo, what about Tielemans? Might do a good job at Liverpool. Remember, he is out of contract at the end of the season. Uh, Darren said the, the, the same thing as well. 